Hello, hello, are we on? Are we starting? Is this ready to go? It's Francis Barber, everyone. Hello. I can't quite believe it. <laughs> so what are we doing? What are we having? What have you got? Well, um, I don't cook this very often, oh, I have right. to admit, because, because it's fattening. But when I do, yes. I like to have everything. So I've got bacon, I've yes. got some posh sausages. She is posh, look. <laughs> Waitrose. Waitrose. Thank you, Francis. <laughs> I mean, I, I generally like uh, food from Harrods Food Hall, usually. But I will settle with Waitrose. You'll settle for Waitrose. Thank, and, and the sausage is Waitrose. Yes, everything's Waitrose. Everything mushrooms are Waitrose. Mushrooms are and Waitrose. what about... I'm afraid I forgot to get more tomatoes, but I thought if I cut the cream? mold off. Oh, I thought it was cream cheese, but it's 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 <laughs> mold. It's been in my fridge. Mouldy tomatoes around Francis Barber. Well, I didn't expect oh, Well, it's this. been lovely meeting you, Francis. <laughs> I think, is there a world to snip to pret a manger And it's been, I'll see you again soon. <laughs> but look, I can't believe you. Look at that. Are you really going to use that? Well, I, I mean, you, if you fry it. You come from that era, though, don't you, where you keep everything. Waste not one. Exactly. I mean, how old? Oh, no, I can't say it. Like that. <laughs> no, that'd be, no, that'd be, but everyone of a certain gen, they keep that. They would. Yep, my mum would definitely. You would could she? do lots of things with this. What, what with we... one tomato? <laughs> would she? What could she do with one tomato? <laughs> Make a sandwich. What? <laughs> what would she do? Cheese and tomato sandwich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really labels. embarrassed with <laughs> What's this? Oh, God! <laughs> I'm never coming round here for a roast dinner. What's this? Do you know, even know what that is? No, I've no idea. Let's what put that. that. I'm not going to... I have no idea. Fun? What's that? Just put it back in the freezer. You clearly have all the other stuff no dropped it on the floor. That That's, um, okay. There's some homemade soup I made once. Homemade soup? Okay. In case I had a and dinner party. when did you party. make that? 1983? <laughs> There's some champagne. There's some champagne! There's some champagne. It's a bit flat. <laughs> of course it is. Of course, of course it's flat, Francis. <laughs> Mouldy tomatoes, <laughs> flat champagne. <laughs> Welcome to the home of Francis Barber. <laughs> Or Francis. Oh yes, oh yes, we're not allowed to clap anymore. Why is that? Well, apparently some a woman on GMTV the other day said that it upsets audiences. Right. So at the end of the play, instead of everybody yeah. applauding, she wants all the audience to do that. Really? And I can just imagine yeah. Ian McKellen after yeah. playing King Lear for yeah. three and a half hours coming up <laughs> for a bow <laughs> to silence. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can imagine there'd be a lot of effort. What if, if, if someone did that to you, what hand signal would you give back, Francis? <laughs> I can only imagine. That really is flat. This is very oh, flat. Oh, I can't I... wait, Francis. Let's. let's... <laughs> Are you seriously want to drink it? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for this flat champagne. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> Because I need a dribble. Let's have a look. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I lend you 30 quid? Are you alright? It's times hard at the moment. I mean, why would you keep that? I forgot it was in there. What happened? <laughs> I don't look in that fridge very often. No, clearly. <laughs> Are we any, any nearer to having anything put in the frying pan? <laughs> the in, yes, I'm, I, this is the prep time. OK, prep time. Because I watch MasterChef, so I, prep is very, very important. Yes, and do they cut mould off tomatoes? I don't think you see that. <laughs> I bet they do, but the, they don't yeah, feel I know. 18 years ago, I did um, uh, my only musical yeah. ever called Closer to Heaven, that Jonathan wrote the book yeah. and the Pet Shop Boys wrote all That's the music. Right. And um, anyway, at that time, the Pet Shop Boys loved the character that he created for me, which yeah. is this, you know, uh, sort of crazy, drunk, raddled, rock star, drug addict, Billy delusional, Tricks. Billy Tricks. Yeah. And they wanted to do a one-woman show about Billy for 18 years. That's how long really? ago we did it. And because I think they wanted to write music for her through the decades, so there'd be a Vietnam song, yeah. there'd be a a talk song, yeah. a disco song. Anyway, 18 years later, we did it. Yeah. And we did it in Edinburgh. For a month? For uh, uh, three weeks. All right. And we were sold out and it was fab. And then we, um, you can't put bacon, it won't cook, will it, if I put it like that? <laughs> Francis, when was the last time you cooked bacon? <laughs> Not Francis has never <laughs> cooked bacon. <laughs> Francis, do you have a chef as well, as long as the cleaner? I'm sorry. I wish. <laughs> I should, not <laughs> So we did it, and then we went to, to Leicester Square for five days. Yeah. 
So, but we're bringing it back I know, in I've February heard. for a month. So I'm over the moon same about place, that. Same venue. Same venue in Leicester Square Theatre. Any chance of a free ticket? Chances? I'll see what I can do. Oh, I think I know a few. Do you reckon? So I was thinking that we will get on our, our leather pants, leather shorts, and I thought we'd play it for music and maybe have a dance on the... <laughs> are you up for that? Yeah, you and I? Ick bin music. Have you got any leather pants? I have, but I can't get into them at the moment. No, but is... I might be able to. <laughs> Never mind you, I didn't care about you whether... I got this film out at the moment yeah. called Trick or Treat. Right. That came out. Explain um, a bit about that. Trick or Treat is set in um, Blackpool, which is the most filmic city actually. Yeah. It's amazing. With Chris Marshall. With Chris Marshall and Craig Kelly and yeah. his brother Dean Lennox Kelly. Kelly. The ones what, they were in. Uh, he was in. He was in Shameless. Queer Folk. And and Craig was in Queer yeah, Folk. That's right. And um, and we shot it in. Uh, we shot it at half London in Blackpool. Then. Yeah. It's a kind. It's a. It's a very dark comedy. Yeah. But it's also a thriller with an ending that is so completely mad. And is there blood and gut? Uh, in a way, yes. I'm without giving us, without okay. giving it too okay. much away, it's completely pulls the rug from under your feet. Right. And that won an award, didn't it recently? Yeah, I won Best Actress, and it won the Jazz Hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> jazz Hands. <laughs> I can't actually use <laughs> Like a bad Jim Henson, I do apologise. <laughs> I was talking to my nephew about you, and um, I was saying that, and he was like, oh, she was in Doctor Who. So tell me, you were in two episodes. No, I was in the end, I was in about, uh, I think I was in all, all of the, the seventh season. So I got that completely wrong. <laughs> I I, you can tell I, I watched, I mean obviously I didn't because I didn't sit at home in my, in my pants pleasuring myself into my Dalit duvet. <laughs> no, the weirdest letter I got was um, from someone when I was in the theatre and he said he wanted me to carry him on my shoulders down to Shaftesbury Avenue. Really? <laughs> what, but which way would you have been facing? No, but, but he, he wrote, he said that and then he wrote in capital letters, I hope you've understood this, I'm not carrying you, you are carrying me. <laughs> I was doing one flew over the cuckoo's nest with, with Christian Slater yeah. and I went, look at this, and he went, oh my God, the fucking freak, that's a freak, oh my God, we gotta call the cops, that's too much, that's yeah. way too much. I thought Matt was so genius in, as Doctor yeah. Who because he's got one of those phases where he could be 25 yeah. or 200 yeah. because he's got that extraordinary bone structure and Francis, he's marvellous. I, I, I think the bacon's done. <laughs> Is it done? About an hour ago. <laughs> Oh, look, let's, I, I, let's did take, get, I did get... Let's turn that on off, so that's... Do you need anything anything doing? Is there anything that's... I think, I think, unless we want toast... Oh, no, I'm all right for toast. I, I think also, the, I the opened the wrong um, beans, because these have got sausages in them. What? Look at that, look at that show, Francis, look at that. There's so many sausages. Why did, what made you buy that one? I, I love so, They look like dog willies. <laughs> I can't, I can't eat that. Can you please scoop them out? <laughs> Look, this is Hendrix, everyone, just in case anyone... I'm amazed he has... Aren't you going mad about the smell of the sausages? What kind of dog are you? I'm glad someone is, because I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Hendrix, oh. this was my dog, yeah. Smack. You probably can't see him, but look. That was my dog, I think baby the, I, Smack. I think the sausages yes, are... I think, I think a, 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 a picture of your lovely dog or some sausages. What do you think the dog... What do you think the dog's going to... It's gonna go. For. Yeah. So what are we gonna? What, uh, does it help yourself? Oh. Okay. Uh, just, uh, just, just one of those. Uh, one of those. I'm definitely having a sausage. Ooh. Now, Hendrix, I, you can sit at the table, but yes. you mustn't lick the sausage. No, sausage no. I'm, about to I'm the only one that's allowed to lick <laughs> sausage around here. <laughs> no yeah. eggs. Francis? Oh, I forgot the eggs. Sorry. <laughs> um, can I can I pass on the on the on the? I did have eggs. 
eggs. He did have eggs. <laughs> I but forgot. This has been. I was a, a, going to do scrambled eggs. I keep. I always do this whenever I have people around for dinner. Yeah. I forget something that's yeah. really important in my menu. And like something really nice. <laughs> like the main, the main bit of the menu itself. I've travelled like, three hundred miles. <laughs> three hundred miles. I've travelled for that. I put a question out on Facebook because I said I was coming to meet you and I've got your biggest fan. Oh. So he's got a question for you. Hey Francis, uh, just a quick question. I'm a massive fan of yours, uh, you've been in wonderful films, TV. My favourite film of yours was uh, Still Crazy with a, a wonderful cast, Bill Nighy, uh, Tim Spall, Billy Connolly. My question is, has Jimmy Neal got a massive <laughs> Bye. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Has he? His wife has told me that. <laughs> I knew it. I knew Jimmy Nail had a big wang. Who's got the biggest wang in the show business? Do you know? Um, Lee Neeson. Well, so they say. Yeah. Anyone else? <laughs> Ian McKellen has. <laughs> Ooh, has <laughs> if he? you'd seen King Lear, you'd have seen it. Really? It was, yes, quite impressive. It really? Was... I also heard that Alan Titmarsh has got a big knob as well. <laughs> eh? <laughs> I'm about, actually, when's the best before date? I oh, was safe with that one. I just don't. I'm just a bit untrusting. <laughs> seeing what the insides of your of your freezer. I are. did one Christmas have some quail's eggs that I'd got. I'd been sent a hamper from Fort and Mason. Of course. And I cooked them and I put them out. And yeah. Everybody went. <laughs> and when they took the shells off, they were totally black. They were completely black as they were about seven years out of date. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't not very good at the domestic side of life. No, I'd, I'd never have guessed. <laughs> Francis. <laughs> Scared now. This is abs. This has been one of my favourites. <laughs> I bet you say that to all the girls. It's a top score. But as at the end, because I know that you spent a lot of time cooking. And I think it's only fair that I wash up via my tongue. Um, so if you don't mind me, it's, 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 uh, it's to say thank you, basically. And it's, it's, uh, it's deemed, what's it in countries? It's deemed good manners, isn't mm -hmm. it? <laughs> <laughs> Hendrix, don't look at your father. You're going to learn well, his he does, awful, he does, awful he does habits. He does the same and you should see what he licks. I know what dogs lick. I know. <laughs> What they smell and what they Those days lick. for me have gone. <laughs> Francis, I've enjoyed today. So far. You are utterly lovely, very funny, even though your tomatoes are rancid. <laughs> I, and uh, I'd like to say thank you very much. That's my pleasure. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching Celebrity Bye. Fryer. Bye. Thank you. He's mad about those mushrooms. Is he? Yeah. You can't be a vegetarian dog. That's bananas. <laughs>